everybody, Max here, the Intuitive Fitness Coach. I hope you're all well. I'm going to talk a little bit about Savasana today and uh, how I use it myself and then hopefully you can get some tips for yourself to see if uh, what they call the hardest of all yoga poses um, can do for you. So, so what is Savasana useful for? Um, for myself personally, um, I see it as the art of relaxing um, and it's good to use to see what in the body is tense and what is unrelaxed. It's good to check in to see where you are. Uh, is there too much on your mind? Is there any issues going on in the body? So I come home each day and I, I lay down in Savasana, uh, usually before I do maybe a little workout, a little stretch a little bit of Tai Chi, a little bit of yoga. And I just like to lie there and let everything settle down, let my body relax. And I use it to pay attention to what's going on. So if I've been in work, for example, um, is all the energy up here in the mind? Is it, is it difficult to slow the thoughts down? Um, and you can usually feel it. You can feel if the, you can literally feel if the energy is here. Uh, if I've been cycling, I can feel the energy in my quads, in my glutes, um, and you can feel it buzzing. So it's a good idea to, to to just lay down, nice and quietly, and see where that coursing of energy is. Um, see where it's concentrated, which can tell you a lot. Um, maybe there are certain aches or pains you get that perhaps you're not paying attention to and you lie down in Savasana and you think, oh, the energy is all concentrated around a certain, certain area, specific area that, that needs attention. What do I need to do to, to help? Maybe it gets tied back and goes to thoughts you're having, emotions you're having. That's traveling into parts of the body causing problems and so on and so forth it could be could be deeper than muscles could be uh, you can f feel all kinds of sensations in the body it could be going into the organs it could be anything irregular heartbeat your body will tell you what's going on that's why the savasana is so so useful um, maybe you can't even lie in savasana without getting certain aches or pains that posture might cause you any number of, uh, of problems. So that's also very important. Can you lie down in that, in that position and uh, without any pain and can you drift off to sleep? That's another, another really good, good use for Savasana, just the basics. Um, so I don't want to tell you what to do in this posture other than belly breathing slowly, sort of deep breathing into the belly, nice and slow and just paying attention, you'll find out the answers for yourself. So the key would be just to do the deep breathing, go deep, explore, don't try and fight the thoughts if there's too much energy going on in the brain, just, just let them be um, and just see where the energy in, is focused in your body, it could be anywhere. Um, it's a great teacher, Savasana, I find, of calmness, uh, being centred. And it's a posture that can really show us how easy or difficult we find it to relax or to find some kind of inner peace. It's a great posture for that, the most simple of them all, but possibly the most difficult. Um, and if we can't sit still for, sorry, lie still for more than five minutes without being sort of plagued by and distracted by thoughts and emotions and sensations in the body and then what's that telling us about ourselves it's very important um, it can be telling you all manner of things and your body and your mind will give you a lot of information so it's very useful um, and it just takes time it takes time to be still it takes time to develop that discipline of being tranquil um, it doesn't come easy to me, it takes me a, a long time, sometimes I get it, some days I don't. Um, but just try it when you get home or in the morning or whenever you get some time to be somewhere at peace, nice quiet place and just explore more and then let me know what, what arises for you, sort of put some stuff in the comments or you can even private message me 
um, I'd love to know what you think and uh, and what insights you get and your experiences of just savasana and just just see see what happens. Um, enjoy and wish you a lot of peace. Thanks. Thank you.